Well, it's a playground and I'm here to play Twisting your fears in a brand new way The crew could never leave me in the past Now it's my turn, I've caught them at last I made a deal with shadows unseen Now you're lost in this haunted dream I whisper promises in disguise Behind this mask the darkness lies And now your time is running a piece I'll take Now my true instincts are awake I'll show you how your faith can rust Smiling as dreams all turn to dust Playing mind games from within I'll lift you up just to pull you back in And now your time is running out Sentiment fuels the grand design To my kingdom you're now resigned And now your time is running All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 18. Not canonic chronologically, but canonically, it's episode 18. Um, we had to postpone Wednesday's game because I got heckin' sick. And we had to postpone yesterday's game because technology failed for three out of four players. And once you have to, like, scrap three out of four, you, you reschedule. So that, um, The reference of Ship of Theseus on today held true for yesterday. This is true. Um, so, um, for yesterday's game, for the Dunco game, we are playing that on Monday. What day is that? The 21st? 21st. 5, Pacific, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, that is when that one is. And on the 23rd, I believe, we have asked everybody, we are rescheduling the Triangle Agency game to then. So, sorry about all that inc inconvenience. I don't like being sick. It sucks. Um, so, cool thing is if you got the... Oh. Nika yeah. really likes that one, turns out. I got it too. What? What is... Like, here you go, and there's just a card floating there. It doesn't say anything. 
It says give a GM to the 20 in chat. Oh, okay. I don't... No, I guess I do roll sometimes. You guys can roll versus me. That's... Alright, let's see what that does. Um... So, um, if you guys have the Twitch sub, um, you get three months... What's that? No, let Nika do it. Maybe? Okay. Uh, if you do a new sub or you gift a sub, you will also get three months she's of talking, Discord no one can Nitro. Hear her. We, we can't, can't hear her. They can't hear her. <gasps> there you go. What Nika just said. Oh, but yes, excellent. Um, so today we are playing Troika. This game is a game that I've been very excited to play for quite a while. It's very surreal. Remember, we are still in nightmare territory. So, and when you see weird things, that is why. Um, and with that. We'll get to introducing the characters. We have Patagon, played by Sept, and Rupacelli. Hello, everyone! We got Simmons, played by Chris. Honk? Wait, no, it's the wrong game. We got K, played by um, Caustic. Hello! And we got Katori, played by Kira. Hiya, friends! How are ya? <laughs> Happy to be here. You find yourself standing in the middle of a train car. The kind with plush velvet seats, polished brass rails. The hum of the wheels on iron tracks reverberate through the air, steady and calming. Outside the window, the landscape blurs past. Forests melt into mountains, cities fade into deserts, moving too quickly to focus on any one thing. Strangely, none of you remember boarding this train. But there is a deep, in inexplicable certainty. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. Listening to the sounds as the hum and the rattling begin. As the hum and rattling continue. The car is empty except for a lone figure standing in the aisle ahead. Made of porcelain with angular features and rigid posture. It seems to exude a quiet authority. It raises one hand in greeting. The movement deliberate and mechanical. Welcome to the index, it says in a smooth in a voice smooth as polished stone. Please submit your reason for entry. Be thorough. This is important. No, a reason. What is a good reason? Did, did we just want to go on a pod? I don't remember. Why are we here? Could you elaborate on what the index is? The index is our destination. What was the reason for the last person that went to the index? an eloquent um try to roll under this et etiquette or what is this etiquette yes roll etiquette, etiquette. say under yeah you click an under excellent so that's a five that's a success also everybody in the chat the villains you are looking for one of the numbers to be one and one of the numbers to be three that is that is how we're getting a 13 in this game doesn't matter how it looks to them after the like, like if the three comes first or the one comes first. That doesn't matter. If there's a one and a three, that's your villain. Etiquette. Simmons, it is perfectly fine for you to ask this question. And he's just, um, he raises his head, looks at you, he's just like, oh, um, she was selling bonbons she was taking them to the garden are you here to visit the garden that's the place to start as anyone else i would have supposed 
I mean, probably. We could use some bonbons, right, guys? Yeah, yeah I like snacks. Excellent. And you like, grab, like, um, on, there's a little sheet appears in front of you, floating in the air, somewhere between what we would consider a tablet and an antique scroll. There is a place for you to make your signature. And, um, and there's a ton of words, and Kay, you can read it immediately. Mm hmm. As it's just like, you will suffer gruesome fate if you do not visit the garden. You must visit the garden. But otherwise, you're free to do whatever you want as, and while you spend time in the index. Anything lost along the way is solely your responsibility. Any nostalgia brought into it is into the garden is at your own risk. Katori, uh, she just casually, carelessly just rah, scribbles her name. Just, it's just a scribble. It's just. Rah, rah. The conductor comes over and grabs the sheet. Is excellent. Welcome to the index. Pavgon will use his uh, best autograph uh, signature and be like, "Yeah, that might be worth something to somebody someday." It's always worth something. I have it. I have a copy of it at home. It's framed. One, one second. Let me look at Patagon sheet real quick. Um, can you give me an evaluate, Patagon? Okay. Also a success. No. Like, they look at this, and it will be worth so much to them. Um, and a character you guys didn't see, but she was mentioned. Like, you can smell her coming before you can even see her get into the room. It smells delightful. Like, every flavor in existence compiled into these delicate little bonbons she has on a tray and she's like um pushing the cart through but she's doing it um she's pulling the cart through so it's like her back hits the um wall as she brings it into the center of the room and she's just leave them alone leave them alone can't you see that they're hungry but she's she looking she's like oh this is a pretty full cart. Have you all been to the Folded City before? Uh, this is the first time I've been here. First times, first times? And she's like, she like looks at the signature that you just signed and she's just like, Patagon, you wouldn't be related to that famous Patagon. Well, I mean, some might call me famous, so. Mm-hmm. And she's like, looking over at everybody. Would anybody be interested in a bonbon? Only yes. six pence. She's like, excellent. I've got a blue one, a red one, a yellow one, a black one. Some people don't like the black one, but I like the black one. A purple one, and a green one. You You would suggest the black one? I love the black one, but some people don't like it. We'll try that one. She's like, six pence, please. Hand it over. She takes the six pence and hands you um, a black bonbon. Um, it... Did you just pop it in your mouth? Yep. It tastes of sesame seeds. Do you know what sesame seeds taste like? Hmm. Um, probably not. Does Simmons like it? Did, uh, hmm. No. Absolutely not.
Rob just jumped in the call. Oh no. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Absolutely. Oh. Nameless just shows up. Simmons, add one point of luck to your max luck. Simmons, do you only have seven luck? I thought you had eleven luck. Good eleven. I forgot to put it in my sheet. How does Simmons react? Negative, like pos like you said you like won. Yeah, absolutely no, no. He like he he spits it out. I mean, he has etiquette, but it is it it is it's so bad he can't he can't deal with it. Oh my! Did you just insult their cooking? I can see why it's a thing that some people have a difference of opinion on. Uh, Katori hops up off her bench and she kind of um, walks on, just strolls casually over. She's looking at the cart. She's waiting her turn. Absolutely. And she's just like, did you like that? Oh, I like... You've got that... It's like, oh, are you a member of the dining club, little bat fellow? Bat. You must chew it all. Chew it all and swallow it down. Don't worry. <sighs> Savor the flavor. You really get it between those teeth. Dead. The great thing about these bonbons is they really stick right between your teeth and you'll taste it for days. He's going to try to force himself. Oh, etiquette. Etiquette roll for sure. <laughs> and she's just like watching. The, all of these rolls have been two and well, actually, most of these rolls have been a three and a two. All right, you pass, you succeed. What's it? What does faking it look like? Um, one of those like, like really, really sarcastically big fake grins, just chewing mouth open. You got sesame seeds stuck on your teeth. Yeah. Or your, your grill, if that's already here. And she's just like, excellent. And she turns to Katori. It's like, oh, aren't you a big one? Which one could I offer you, my lady? Um, she hands over the money, like, automatically, and says, yellow, please. She hands you the yellow bonbon. Like, this is Le Limon. It's two L's E-M-O-N. It, it tastes very tart at first. It's almost too sour to describe. But then as soon as you can get past that bit of flavor, it is the most perfect texture you can imagine. Like, um, you guys know what melty kisses are? It's like, no. Melty kiss is, it's like a chocolate that is on the verge of melting the second it touches your tongue. Like, it literally melts in your mouth. And that, like, I know a lot of things say that, and a lot of things do do that, but Melty Kisses are unstable. They don't feel like real things. Okay. It's like a, almost like a cheese, lemon cheesecake flavor is how this one tastes. But in an amazing way. Like, the lemon fades out and tastes like whatever you dream what your dream come true of food is is what the um, yellow ones taste like it also counts as a full provision so you got you, and Katori will not need to eat a provision on this train like what if cotton candy was chocolate is how 
I don't know how to pronounce, how to like really define, I was hoping that everybody else had had these things. Like a super melty chocolate truffle is how Nika. I got nothing. That's a shame. You should guys should get some melty kisses. They're delicious. They sound amazing. Um, Katori gives the lady a wink, says thank you very much, and just nibbles the cho the, the bonbon as she walks back to her seat. Lady Bonbon throws the uh, the coins in her hand up and down a couple of times, very excited. Like incredibly happy to be getting paid. Alright, uh, Lady Bonbon, was it? I, I would uh, most certainly enjoy trying your red bonbon. You know, put the six pences in there. The red bonbon tastes like banana. Nice. Just as banana. And then you start hiccuping multicolored bubbles. Is it like modern banana or like old school banana? It just says banana. Hmm. And like, as you hiccup, Patagon, one of the bubbles comes out, floats away, and in the middle of the thing, it pops. It does not tell a secret, but it says something that you've said before. What does it say as it pops? It can be a secret. Well, let's see. I guess it could say that... Uh, let's see. Um, well, just let's go. And welcome to the Patagon show. Like, he says that almost every day now. So. <laughs> welcome to the Patagon show. And it's just like... You see her look up. Lady Bonbine just like starts applauding. And the, the ticket taker also starts applauding. He's just like... It is him. It is. They got him to come. It's like, are you putting on a show special? Are you doing an interview here? Are you looking for anybody in particular? No, I'm not 100% sure yet, but um, be on the lookout. <laughs> like, ooh. And like, she um, fans her face. And she's just like, can I, I just, um, could I get an autograph maybe? Oh, most certainly. And she pulls out her autograph book. It's very similar to Simmons, where it's just like covered in pages, like page after page after page of um, like autographs overlapping over on top of each other, like a kid's cast style. Oh, like this sounds perfect. Oh, that's that's amazing. All right, well he'll uh, find a suitable location and you know, scroll it out. And she does a little twirl, like super excited about it. Add one to all of you luck. Everybody here gets plus one luck from like huh. the positivity that she has. Uh, max that, luck or the max? Yeah, that was my question. Yeah, raise your max. That doesn't modify what we currently have, so it would still be. Does it oh. raise the max and our yes. luck? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, to, go ahead and raise them both, max and current. Okay, cool, cool. perfect. Just make sure. No problem. All right, and um. Okay. Lady Bonbon looks over to you and she's like, how about you, young one? Uh, uh, no thank you. I, um, I'm actually saving my money for something else. Thank you, though. Oh, you know a little secret spot? Where you going? What are you looking for? Well, um, I think first we were going to the garden, but after that, I was hoping to find a place that sells information or books ah yes the shifting library would sell information the bond uh, that that would be the um 
the ticket taker would give you that information. But the Bon Bon woman would be just like, she, they don't want to spend their money on that stuffy old book. It's like, what you want to do. And listen to me, because I know what you want to do more than he knows what you want to do. It may be more than what you want to know what you want to do. But I think what you want to do is you want to go to the garden. Okay? You're going to meet with a guy there. His name is Jeffrey. Four J's. He sells the best corn dogs. Life changing experience. Uh, so it is a food stuff. Of course. Do you, what do you do with corn dogs? Uh, generally, I would kind of like emulsify them and then add them to some liquid and then see what it feels like on my leaves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That seems like a, a way that you could enjoy them. It sure is. The train begins slowing down, but not in a nice, smooth, like, braking system. It suddenly feels like somebody's slamming on the ba brakes, like, four times in a row. Like, slam, the whole train lurches. Like, these two bounce all around the place, giggling about it while it's happening. Oh my. Uh, well, that is certainly an experience. I'm just imagining Patagon like penguin sliding across the floor. <laughs> right? I feel like as it happens, uh, Katori's like hand moves away from her mouth as she was about to take the bite, uh, the, like another bite of her bonbon, and she makes a grumpy face about it. She like missed the bite. Yep, and she's like, Arr! It's like that where you're expecting another step and then you don't get the step, except for you were expecting a bite and you missed. Oh, that feels yes. sounds horrible. <laughs> it is horrible. Kay is just like wedged into the corner. <laughs> Can somebody roll me 1d6? This is for the next stop is, and then you guys can feel the the Mad Lib style blank in the conversation, uh, in the sentence. Oh, gracious. Uh, I can roll. All right. Ooh. I know he said two, but it sounded like he was like, Ew. Ew. <laughs> oh, you're going there. Oh, God. Uh, the, the sign starts like spinning up in each letter. Like it like locks into place. I N K R I V E R. And like, the ticket taker is just like, next stop is the Ink River. Watch your step, everyone. You don't want to get any of that on your fine clothes. It's like, this is the second floor. You'll have to make your way down from here. Well, thank you very much. You are quite welcome. You said you were all going to the garden? Apparently, eventually, but we're stopping here first. Yeah, how do we get there from here? To get to the statuary garden of lost causes, you must first cross the river of ink into the hall of echoed questions. Once you find your way out of the hall of echoed questions, you shall find the garden. So, would you like a map? I only have three pence left. How much does it cost for the map? Oh, the map costs... The... It's quite, quite simple. We'll do a trade. 
Do you have any stories? Yeah, but we'll be here all day. No, we can trade one story. I don't see why not. See? I, we need new stories, you see. It gets rather boring on the train. Once you get used to the outside, moving past the speed of... Bleh. And he waves his hand and does make the bleh noise. Simmons, why don't you tell us the story of the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Oh, man. But you, you gotta tell him, like, you gotta tell him, like, where you were and how you felt about it. You know, real, real secret. Like, you gotta tell him all that. Well, the, I mean, the... Hmm. Hmm. The most recent thing I can think of that I ate that was delicious was uh... that cinnamon bun, that black bonbon. Yeah. Bon bon. Oh well, that we want to tell you about something different. Certainly tasted. That was definitely something that I've never had before, and it it, it definitely made me, uh, uh, you know, it gave it was an experience that I've never had. Okay, well, what's a good experience then? And like Lady Bonbon sits cross-legged, like next to T. Okay, well, next <laughs> to T. Um. Sorry. <laughs> the um, the most recent really delicious thing that I had, I, I I did make a couple people mad. One in particular. Um. I happened across a few of a few of our friends while we were uh, while they were uh, having a, a pretty good get together, and uh, one of them, Flynn, you got you guys know Flynn. Uh, she made a really really fantastic uh, gumbo with um, just a whole bunch of really locally sourced ingredients. It was really delicious. What was in it? Like. There was this gigantic fish that um, another uh, another one of our group, um, Nick, uh, his name is Nickel. He's very cool, and that's a pun. Get it? Because uh, anyway, he he got this How huge fish. What, don't what worry about it. it it's fine. I'm, it's, I'm worried about. It's like, that's another I will, story. I will it's turn another this time. Train around. You tell it's me why another, that's a pun. It's okay. It's another story. But he he has he can use ice abilities. That okay. it, that's it's really it's that's, that's all Nickel it is. Nickel can use ice abilities. Got it. Yeah making notes are you why are you making notes because we have to make notes but they're we have collecting to they're they're collecting stories Simmons. this is how you collect a story but wait i don't like no okay. oh anyway okay um so okay so yeah, we're so he so he got this huge fish. It was great, and it was it was really delicious. I tried to scare him and failed real bad, and then uh, made a bunch of noise. I almost got killed. It sucked, but um, then I uh, uh, the uh, yeah, Flynn made this really good uh, really good gumbo, and it had that fish, and I believe it had shrimp in it as well. I don't remember where they came from. I'm I'm losing a little bit of my memory, but anyway, point is. Um, Somebody happened accidentally. I, I, it may have been me. I'm not going to lie. It definitely was. Uh, you, you ever have a s'more? Of course. Of course. Yeah, it, I put that in. But, I, but what, I what put does that s'more in the gumbo. You? It means a, a very delicious you mean sandwich. Some more gumbo? Or no, do you no, mean. No. No, I mean like like chocolate and marshmallow and graham cracker. It's a really delicious thing. Oh, that sounds um, vile. It's very good. And I put it in the gumbo. And all of those flavors mingled. And it was, I thought it was very, very good. But um, I did upset Flynn because I didn't realize how much effort she had put into into making this really delicious thing that I then uh, uh, may have ruined. But I got to take a lot of it home, so that was nice. This RP was hilarious. 
And would you consider Flynn... Flynn, yes. Are they still your friend after this? Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like your relationship went, with them went up or down from it? Or did they stay mostly the same? I think it started to dip and then got better. And then is, is, is pretty good still. Okay, okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, and please check the boxes as it appears in front of you. The people in this story, as your relationship to you, scale of 1 to 10, 10 being soulmates, where do you rank them? And you see Nickel and Flynn on the list. What? <laughs> Kay kind of leans over and goes, well, they are taller than him. They are taller than me. Wait, I don't know what that, that... Has to do with anything. It's the ranking. They would be higher on the list than me, wouldn't they? I believe the ranking was on your emotional attachment to them. Oh, Which not so like more. feet. You have to be clear about these things. Okay, okay, all right. So who's on the list? We got Flynn and we got Nickel. And that's the only people on the list? Me did you wrong. say anybody else's name for that story? I did not. Yeah, I thought you'd only said Flynn and Nickel. You said other people were there, but you only yeah, said Yeah, but I didn't Flynn say Nickel. their names. Yeah. Um, I don't... I, uh, you said 10 is soulmates. So, like, sevens? Soulmates. I guess seven. we're sevens. We're okay. We're, we're not. We're not. We're good. Excellent. And just final question. Platonic or romantic or familial? From familial like like uh i don't want to be around them because they're my family or like familial like i do want to be around them because they're my family yes platonic, I... <laughs> platonic. absolutely and this will go right up to our administrative offices thank you very much for coming and here is your map and on the map it has it says river and then it's it's all like a little box. You know what I'm talking about? Like um like a spreadsheet or a flow chart. It's just like like leave train river and then the river forks into two different spots where it says that you can go to the Hall of Echoes or there's a way to go straight to um the garden, the statuary. It's like um but it does seem a little bit tricky. The path is like broken. And it appears that, and it just says, do you know how to swim? And then the train lurches to a halt one more time. And they say, goodbye, everybody. And you guys go flying out the front of the train car. This is helpful. Thank you. Have you his, his best, uh, you know, penguin slide uh, attempt. I assume K, K is pinwheeling. Oh, well, then again, I guess I do have a corpse in me now. Oh, you're Just so kidding. much heavier than you were before. It's like training. The yeah, I just hit the ground with a thud. The air here smells faintly of parchment and damp wood, with a metallic tang like spilled ink. Before you stretches a lazy black river, its surface shining like liquid night. As the inky waters meander through the caverns, and scro scrolls and scraps of paper drift along the current, bobbing like forgotten thoughts cast adrift. Along the riverbank, soft reeds sway, whispering words that you almost understand. A worn figure leans against a narrow boat, cradling a long oar in their hands. Their hooded robe seems to unravel at the edges, threads trailing off into the river, like memories dissolving into ink. He turns to you and says, You'll need a ride, I suppose, the figure mutters without looking up. But only the river, the river only takes what you're ready to leave behind. Simmons, on your map, it says, He is not the only way. Can you swim? I usually can swim, so I'd be up to giving it a try. 
I look over at everybody else and point at the words, can you swim, and go, eh? Uh, would K know that they are not waterproof? <laughs> Simmons, can you swim? Like we, I can we swim. Saw, yeah, we saw you sw like Valentina can't swim, but you can swim. I can swim when I'm running away from a fireball. That's right. That's right. I don't think I can swim amazingly well, but I can swim enough. How deep is this river? How would you go about figuring that out? Ask the guy. I guess we'd ask him. Sure. Like, he looks up nonchalantly. He's just like, too deep to walk across. It is rather poetically deep as well. Sometimes the wind gets a whisper and can make you feel melancholy. Poetically deep. Hmm. So, if Katori were to just start chattering really mindless, shadow, shallow babble as she starts walking across the river, would the water start to recede, kind of? Become less deep? I, I do not see why not. Are we Mosesing this? Fuck yeah. Are you, oh, hold on. Are, all right, all right. Give me one second here. Also, just like before we do this, can I just second sight this river? <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead and give me a second sight roll. Uh, under? Under, yep. Okay, it's not going to be versus anything. Oh, I failed. Cool. Oh, you failed. I don't know anything. The... I think it's, like, way worse. Not way worse, but, like, interestingly worse. As you start to try to figure out what is written in this, you feel, and Patagon and Simmons, mm -hmm. you both see written all over K. Like, K, what is something you are trying to hide? It doesn't have to be a big thing big big thing but it has to be something you are trying to hide it is going to be literally written all over your face <laughs> that's awesome Kay didn't sign the paperwork Kay does not belong down here nope <laughs> well too late now oh no do other people see that too or just us um, it's visible it's, to everyone, isn't it? Yeah, the the ferryman like is gonna look up and he's like, you see his like finger point and his like jaw like dislocates from his like mouth. He is made out of um the weirdest kind of paper mache. How guys gonna mention to Kate? Uh, yeah, that's literally written on your face right now. Uh... <laughs> He's just, I'm gonna, it's like, uh, I, this has probably nothing to do with any of you. Don't worry about it. I have to go speak to a man about a horse. Excuse me really quick. Can I just, and I, I, I go and I hand him my, my, my remaining three silver pence and say, can you just pretend you didn't see this? Maybe. We know that this is an etiquette role, right? I yeah, think so. it's gotta be. Under? Yeah, under. Oof. No, yeah, 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 it will be. All right, success. He... And he's just like, all right, all right, okay. And like, he takes your three coins and you see him set them all under his tongue. You have until these dissolve.
then I make it known that you don't belong here. <laughs> Jeremy, we can get this off of your face. What? What? I have disguise. Oh, I don't know what I would do with it, but... Katori, you said, um, you are walking into the river just speaking babble, right? Yeah. Go ahead and give me that roll. Success. As, and, like, what kind of, like, nonsense are you saying? Or is it just all, like, goo goo gaga? Yeah, or she's like, oh my god, so the other day I was baking a whole bunch of cookies and I totally messed up the recipe. And instead of putting in three eggs, I only put in two. And then it was a catastrophe, seriously, because then I had to put in the sugar and I messed it. I spilled it all over the place. It was absolutely awful. And then Valentina, I mean, they, they heard the whole thing came around the corner and it, it was a disaster. I can't even tell you all about it in this amount of time. I just, I, I, I'm usually so much better than this, but no, I messed up completely, complete airhead moment. But then like, I tried to make the cookies anyway and they were so good. So it really worked out in the end. Yeah. As Katori babbles her way through the um, river, a staircase like opens up and you hear it drain and then it's just completely fine like you guys could walk out you could follow the path katori made into the shortcut to the statuary thank you flynn for the babbling brook commentary it is very good it is very good I say then let's yeah follow carry that. On. Follow that babbler. Are we going to try to cover up Kay's face? <laughs> can I can I wipe it off with my my embroidered napkin? Is it something that can be it can be removed? I yeah. Kay, do you want to do you want Simmons to give that a shot? Sure, why not? I don't know what that would be. Just... Uh... I, I think it's a luck. I think it's a testing your luck. Okay. Yeah, probably. I just test it. Just hit the button. You test your... Yeah, whenever you test your luck, it costs you luck whether you succeed or fail, for the record. Okay. So I hit it, and then I take one, one down? Yep. Hit it and then you take one down. That's Ooh. a really that's a yeah, luck because you you couldn't fail. You could not fail because your luck was thirteen. Hey. Alright. So you're wiping off that that K doesn't belong here. So, um, yeah. And K, like you um it does not change it to you belonging here. It just, like, just the marking is uh, gone. That's fair. But if somebody wanted to write something on your face... It's like a blank sheet right now. <laughs> Which is wild, because normally there's text all over. So, are we implying that we could write definitely belongs here? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's immune. It's immune to, to paperwork. <laughs> um, Simmons, can you write stained embroidered napkin? Yes. Stained with my crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, do you guys want to 
follow Katori or are we, what are we doing? Oh, take down one provision, everybody except for Katori. Okay. I definitely want to point at, at K and, and and point to the uh, the ferryman and be like, ah, ah, ah. We're good now, right? I saw. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't ever there. And then walk across the walk. Walk after Katori. In the center of the river, much like a whirlpool, is a staircase leading down. This is the shortcut that was on your map. They just thought you were going to swim there, not babble your way there. I point out to everybody else, hey, we should, this is the place we need to, this is the thing we got to do. Lead on. As you guys make your way down those stairs, the you feel a familiar presence as you're walking down the staircase turns from brick like stone brick walls of many different colors where they start to get more and more translucent like crystalline faceted bricks in the walls and you start to be able to see the folded city beyond you are in a massive tower. Like, you are in the index. And the, apparently, to answer your question earlier, okay, what is the index? It is connecting parts to other parts in the actual city uh, uh, that is the folded city. You see massive buildings. The, the things in the background there are all misshapen to you, not to the folks that live in the folded city homes. Many streets are literally on top of other streets. As you continue down, you begin seeing what's the word I'm looking for? Let me just It begins to open up. There is a clearing. There is most certainly a palace. And this palace is striking in its incomprehensibility. And Patagon, it feels so familiar to you. And then... How many times was Patagon stabbed by the librarian? Oh believe it coincidentally enough I think it was 13 <laughs> all Lucky of those 13. all of those markings I and mean, all of those stab wounds flare up again and again you are still in a stairway but you look out and see a tree growing wrapped in cloth like roots tying it to the ground branches growing out of what appear to be the neck it is what if somebody buried the librarian and started growing a tree what the fuck yeah and so I can just like take a couple small steps back and just like breathe deeply like i uh, Guys, I think that's the library. Definitely looks like it. Uh, does it look like it that far, or is it just like similar? It, yeah, it, it is. It's him. <laughs> Interesting. This is... I don't even know. 
Um, so I think Patrick is going to be star staring at it like really intently and uh, going to do an awareness to uh, see if there's anything, you know, out of the ordinary about this uh, tree. Yeah, absolutely. Can I also do second slide again? I know I did so well last time. No, yeah, let, be... let Patagons go off first and then yeah. we'll do okay. the second slide. Just still under them? Yeah, still under. Your roll, like, your numbers are so high, it's so hard to get over. Patagon rolled the perfect character, by the way. I need everybody to know that. When we were rolling up character sheets, Patagon rolled all the highest numbers he could. How? Pa I don't know. Penguin. We're, we're in the folded city. We'll just chalk just, it up. Penguin is the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> right? Like, you see the head of the statue, like, or not statue, of the tree, slowly turn. And, like, despite the fact that we know the librarian does not have and has never had a face, you feel eye contact is being made. And you see an arm reaching towards you and pointing directly at you. And he's like... Yeah, just Patagon is seeing this. This is... Like, everybody else is seeing Patagon like... What are you... Are you going up against the glass, Patagon? Y yeah, kind of just like, you know, but really wide-eyed, just... I mean, you, you could probably consider it like a bad trip because, like, you know, th this was one of the, you know, very traumatic experiences that he he had early on. So you can strike me down, fools, but who will save you from yourselves? As like it starts to like break apart, and like. You then, like, it starts to, like, reach at you, and as the hand is, like, coming close, something, some force, it slams against, and just, like, starts breaking apart. You come out of that flash, and everybody else just sees some leaves falling from the tree. Did it stutter that it, it, it reached the, uh, oh my. Are you quite well, Patagon? I, I, you didn't see that? Oh my goodness. Um, it, it almost grabbed me. Oh. Hmm. Katori is finally finishing her bonbon, by the way. <laughs> it seems that events lately have gotten to you. Simmons pats Patagon. It's like, it's okay, man. Yeah, it's, it's all right. To take a deep breath. Okay. We're fine. Um, Kay, you want to give me that second sight? Sure. I'm sure it won't backfire. Hell yeah. Fail again. Uh... Kay, this tree is just a tree to you it doesn't patagon's reactions although trustworthy you have no reason to distrust patagon it seems a little bit overblown like simmons clearly didn't see anything and katori didn't see anything she's eating her bonbon simmons might uh, not simmons patagon might be having a hallucination i think you might want to check up on him yeah that seems likely i mean i've Saw the librarian just as much as anyone that was in his presence and that. If that is him, which I'm not saying it's not, he seems pretty contained to me. Oh my god, why is it- what tells you that he's- it's not the librarian? Oh, um, hmm. I know you don't like to be put on the spot, and I'm sorry if, like, if you'd rather just dodge it. Didn't he have one arm at the end? He did only have one arm. That's two arms. This is a... Smalcrum at best. And 
Pack would just shake its head like, nope. <laughs> All right, I can't convince you, but let's just tread lightly for now at least. I mean, he also died at the end and was resurrected, so like... Well, we don't know he was he resurrected. Hmm. Okay. There was concern because someone that was going by the librarian was mentioned during the one game in the... Um... Dang it, the underground facility with all the mold and everything, but we never really got confirmation that it was the same person. Right. Are we just going to continue on our way down? Is this the garden? This is not the garden. This is the stairway down to the garden. Sure to you the all do get a little bit hungry, except for Katori who finished her bonbon, so... All the rest of you are gonna have to give me one more pro eat one more provision. <laughs> By the way, this is days of travel. Hmm. Onward to the statuary garden of lost causes. Which is one of the best names I've ever named anything. Yeah, it's a good name. It's very good. Kay is just like the whole time like, are you, are you sure that you are well, Patagon? You seem to be struggling. I mean, that's as well as, as I can be what I saw, which apparently was fabrication. I, I, I can't say, but. Well, Patagon, do you think that it would benefit you to talk about your experience with the librarian to sort of sort through the feelings you're having? I'm here to listen. Oh, we can't hurt at this point, so be able to, you know, give the the, the whole spiel of essentially the, the uh, Groundhog's Day kind of dream he was stuck in during, you know, those times where he was being stabbed by the lovely Quill 13 times over and over again, just to have it repeat. No end in sight, no way to change it. It was just a loop. And finally, I was able to break free from that loop because of, you know, just the the, the sheer, uh, like, hope that came from uh, the crew themselves and, and, and woke up in the infirmary next to Royce and everyone. And it was just... I don't know what was real, what was not, but it, it certainly felt real. And that just all like came It must have been back. terrible. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That must have been terrible. It does seem like a nightmare. Oh, it but was. hey, you said he got an arm cut off. How did that happen? <sighs> I'm trying to remember. I think it was Royce. This is player. Uh, was it? Was he that got part? His yeah, as burnt off. It was burnt, burnt off. off. Okay. And then, yeah, it. I, I can't remember how it was burnt off. I remember that like he had used part of Royce to like recreate some false arm that wasn't really an arm. It was more of like a word tendril thing. That's crazy. This is horrifying. Like, w what the hell are you guys talking about? I am picturing, by the way, we all sitting around a fire, for the record. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm staying away from the fire. Simmons like, is horrified by this story. Yeah. Like, and are you afraid of the dark? <laughs> the fun thing about this is, like, the spirally arm is where I got the idea for how Kay's burnt up um, flowers look with the text still floating in place. That is really cool, though. But these are really crazy stories, guys. I... I, I think I'm not sorry I missed that.
it was definitely a crazy time. <laughs> that all happened inside of a worm, by the way. It was a, a giant, worm? A giant bookworm. Like a worm or a worm? Bookworm. Floor five. Uh, yeah, we don't want to go there. Book, it's book like worm, a wiggly floor worm. Five. The door opens up. It's just like, to the library. Floor five. Oh. But the library isn't the garden. Maybe uh, the, is the garden through the library? Does it stay the library? The garden is four. The library is five. If you go, th if you, if you can find, like, this will get you to the library, skipping the garden. I mean, well, it's, we just have to get to the garden eventually. There is. No promise, and I'm just going to tell this to everybody, there is no promise that the numbers work backwards. I mean, I, I worry about the, the that text. I mean, UK didn't actually sign it, but the, the rest of us, I really don't want to find out what happens if we don't make it there. Well, surely the directions, like... Surely there's a way back. I mean, we have a map. Yeah, does it say anything on the map about the, uh, where are we, the library? Is that on the map anywhere? Do you have any cartography abilities? No. Well, I have tracking. I don't consider that cartography. I take it. Give me a tracking. Mm -hmm. he, all he needs to do is roll over a seven on two six siders, and he doesn't like win every single time. So looking at the thing, um, as I have this flowchart written out, there is no way to get to four from five. There's a way to get to four from six. So we just have to get the six. The yes. six late. Six is the bottom. It literally just says the bottom. So we should keep going down and skip this floor. You so if we go to the library, the at the bottom of the stairs. If we go to the library and then we go to the bottom, then we go to the garden. Can we come mm -hmm. back through this door? Can you come back? Like, if we go through this door into the library, can we come back? No. Which is I why think, we go I, through the I library. Give you, I'll give you this one. I'll, like, here, let, let me make this easier. I will... You When you go to the, statu uh, the Statuary Garden of Lost Causes, which is the next room, if you want to, if you cannot solve it to get to five, you guys can just come back here and take this to five. Like, this okay. will take to the garden. This will take you to the shifting library for you. I am going to say this out of character. Kay is trying to keep you from getting to the garden. I had an out of character thought that that might have been <laughs> what's going on. So, Kay, Kay's like, yeah, I mean, if we go to the library and we go to the bottom, then we should be able to just get over to the garden. You'll be fine. Well, we needed to go to the library for something anyway, right? Didn't, want, didn't you want to go to the library, somebody? K. So, okay, so only K wanted to go to the library. Okay. I've well, been yeah, wanting to go to the yeah. library the whole time. Yeah, we should totally go to the library then. I agree with that. We're buds. We've so, been on road trips. Fine. And Pat Patagon just resigned himself. He's like, well, I, I can't all that logic, I guess. So just to double check, Simmons, with the tracking, we go through here, and then we're going to go, you said, to the bottom, which is six? It, yeah, we, yeah. I don't know how to get to six from here, but we got to go to the bottom, and then we can go back. But we can stop here first. I'm sure it'll be fine. So are you all climbing into the um, elevator to the shifting library.
I don't see why not. For me, me, Chris, me, Chris Simmons. I don't see why not. I mean, Pelicans has reservations, but he has no way to really, you know, convince them. Apparently, so. Oh, well, I mean, don't want to split the party. I mean, that would be worse. Katori will just wander along behind them. Her arms are folded behind her back, and she's just looking around, just kind of waiting for decisions to be made. We get, we do get to do one of my favorite things from the Troika book. One second. As you step into the elevator door, uh, elevator. Are these, I'm sorry, I have to ask, are these pulled from the book or are these things that you guys made? Because they all have an amazingly similar visual style and they're great. They're all um, generated or found. Some of these things are found. Like a lot of the tokens that you see are just things from the book. They're fantastic. This is going to be so dumb. This is pulled directly from the book, by the way, if you guys think this is like, oh, that's fucking dumb. Who would put that in a TTRPG? It's like, it's like, I would have, but I didn't think of it. Inside here is, is a small cramped elevator room with three incredibly large tigers. I was wrong. There aren't bears. There's tigers. Are they just like tigers or are they just, just like re normal tigers? Just big? They are big ass tigers. Um they look the um They look the way that you would think a um in this art style a tiger would look. They look like they might have been made out of paper. They're very similar to K in that way. Um Do you want to pet them? I mean, Most I don't see why not. Do they look aggressive? Because, I mean, otherwise... They look as aggressive as normal tigers would look. They... <laughs> they don't look the most... Ha they really don't seem to enjoy the fact that... Um... That you see their trainer, or at least you expect might be their trainer, is sitting on one of the benches asleep. They each have leashes, um, long leashes made of what appeared to be gold and platinum, incredibly loose, hanging around their necks. And as if not friend, why friend shaped? That's a very good question. Can we let them go? <laughs> So what's the plan? No, I was just like, I mean, we could just let them go. I mean, but they're just friend shaped. They, you know, they can make a parade or something. The door slides closed behind you. So, like, the tigers begin to growl softly. And, like, mm, softly is the wrong word. Um, they begin to growl as the elevator moves, clearly upset by... Have you guys ever seen a dog in an elevator? Those guys oh, do not seem like to the enjoy movement. They do not seem to enjoy it. Why are they here? That's a good question. Why are any of us here? Why would you put such magnificent creatures in such a small container? 
You know a better way to the library? Says the trainer, waking up, like rubbing their eyes. We know there's another way through a garden, but potentially... Do they I read? Have, I have a very hard time solving impossible tasks. Do, do they read? Yeah, why do the tigers have to go to the library? What does reading have to do with the library? It... Like, they each what? have a question. Simmons looks at Kay and is like, what? does that make sense to you? So they have their own questions and have wished to go to the library? I... Are you familiar with a pet? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. But I would not take them somewhere that they did not want to be. Well, I mm, sometimes I to brought get my pet. Yeah. yeah, I understand that. I brought my pet to places where it doesn't want to be. Sometimes, Peanut gave him a knife. This Peanut seems like a wise fellow. Treasure, you've, treasure, Peanut. He was. You've endangered your pet, Simmons. No, I, no, he he uh he was in a knife fight. He helped. You allowed your pet to be endangered in a I fight. could not take that knife away from Riley. He, there was no way you could get that knife from him. He is just you know when he when he gets his hands on it, it's it, plus it was Peanut's knife. Peanut gave it to him. It's like he, he, I didn't want to take that away from him and now I'm never gonna. Well, yes, they've been traumatized now by you allowing them to be in a knife fight. I would want a way to defend myself as well. He was in a knife fight protecting the, the beach house. Is that not... That sounds like quite the story. Was, was that not your job? He helped. He was helping. Your pets don't... I mean, these guys have probably helped this guy. And I pointed at the tigers. My I pet feel like they wouldn't. Organizes. Mine's just emotional support, mainly. He's really good at it. And he's snuggly. Aw, oh, snuggly pets are the best. And the trainer like, reaches their hand out and scratches one of the um tiger's chins. It's like, who's a good boy? Is it you? She's like, oh. And she's like, this elevator's gonna be a while, everybody. I hope you bought provisions. But also, just while I've got you here, I think the lady asked... What's the story behind your pet? <laughs> Everyone turns and stares at Simmons. <laughs> oh no. Simmons, say the thing. Yeah, Patagon, what's the story behind your pet? He's <laughs> snuggly, you said? <laughs> hey now. You said something about a knife, right? Uh, oh yeah, no, yeah. we'd like to hear yeah. about both your pets. They're snuggly yeah, totally. and cute. Tell me. All right, all right. So, Patagon will be. Yeah, uh, Snuggle Floop here. He, uh, he's just you know, a big pile of floop for the most part. Very uh, cuddly and good, great to hug on, and definitely a great pal after a very long, stressful day of recording. Yet another advertisement for the Waffle Popper Junior Junior because Craig just thinks that the previous one didn't have enough, you know, pizzazz. That's really good. Uh, what is that? I've never heard of that before. Can you tell me about the time you tried it? Because I would like to go there and try this too. I really love food stories, you guys. You know, they're my favorite. <laughs> All right, right. So, set the scene. So, here we were making a bunch of new foodstuffs on an episode of Not Chopped. And, uh, you know, Peanut was there. You know, rest in peace, Peanut. And uh, we had to, uh, you know, do this live ad read for Greg's new Waffle Popper Junior Junior, which is... 
tastes amazing. It is spicy as all get out, and, you know, but uh, it's not the most appetizing to look at. So you just just close your eyes and you know you just open your mouth and take a nice big bite and you know, it just kind of oozes down your throat. It's, it's it's a whole experience. You'll definitely have to try it when we get back. It looks like little screaming faces. Some say that's part of the experience. What made what made the decision to go to screaming faces? That seems like a bizarre choice. Well, that's the uh, the peppers. They're uh, from Sonnery, I believe. Ah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then Katori turns to Simmons. Tell me your story. Leo and I ate one as geese. You were what? geese? We were on that show. You ate Patagon. your pet What's that show as a called? goose? No, not the good falafel popper. It's okay. Oh, you got to really. Oh. Wait. Hold on. It, the falafel I got real popper confused. Junior is not a pet? How would you think it's a pet? We were talking about pets. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I was talking about my pet who helped me with an ad I had to uh, film about the falafel popper junior. It's a, it's a food item at, at a place called Krieg's on Market Square. Oh, is it Krieg's on Market Square? Or is it Krieg's at Market Square? Well, see, that is an interesting question that you ask. And some say it one way and some say it another. And who are we to say what is actually right? It is also a franchise, so it likely depends on where it's at. It's or like when people say they're in at. line or online. Well, some market squares, it might be on top of it. And then others, it might be at the square. The elevator just, like, gets close. And you guys feel it doing the jerking stop that the train did. Um, the tigers are going to be very upset. This is just part of the book. How would you dodge? Like, like, how do you make sure you don't get attacked by one of these tigers? Uh, did you say the door was already open, or...? The door, I think, is about to start, start opening. Oh. So, like, yeah, if your thing is to, like, to just... jump out the door, for sure. Yeah, that, that Patagon's first instinct with three very large things is to to run so I will totally do the, the run skill yeah, yeah is that still an under or a versus uh, I think that's going to be a versus okay so close to a one and a three I know right right Sorry, one quick second. I, I got the number right here. I just got do, do, do. You just have to be in. Oh, okay. They have 1d6 plus 8. Man, these tigers got a lot of skill. All right. They only rolled a 10, though. So they, one of them swipes at Patagon. Like, uh, what? Patagon, did you, like, step on one of their paws or something? You got too close to them. What made this one mad? Uh, I think I, uh, yeah, stepped on its tail with my, my metal leg on, on the way out the door. That'll do it. I'm honestly amazed you got that leg through the train. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there are. One of them goes rushing out after Patagon. It missed the first attempt, but Patagon, you're going to outrun it, so we don't have to worry about a future roll, just like for the next step. But that one as it's running its chain gets cut tight and like the trainer goes launches out after oh after it does he drop the the other two are they just free now i think i think the other two are just like loose oh god 
free the kitties. In the folded city. All right, Simmons and K. Um, what is? How did you make one of them angry? And how are you trying to avoid it? Or like, you didn't have to make it angry. It's they are just angry. They are just annoyed cats stuck in an elevator. Would you? Uh, Good. Would you consider? Uh, uh, would you consider it a trapping skill to be able to try to like use their uh, uh, leash that I'm assuming is just dropped but still on them to try to like restrain it? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be versus me. I'm going to roll right now. This is 1d6 plus 8. So you oh, need God. a higher than a 13. Oh, well. You said versus? Versus, yep. And you did it. You got a 16. What's it look like to trap them? Like to get one of them under control? I think it's kind of like a, like a, uh, wrap around the, the front paws. So I don't get, uh, uh, wrap the, the long leash chain around the front paws just to try to keep them from hitting me in the face. And then try like a, like a, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Sort of calm down thing. All right, Kay. Simmons has tamed the other one. Katori's still, like, eating her snacks. Um, if I were to throw some of my pigments and powders, are they just gone? Or do I, is that just some of them? I think if it's just one item, yeah, that it's going to go. Because it says pigments and powders, like, multiple it is vials of pigments and powders, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's good. You're cool. Uh, I guess I have to do a grab because it's two items down. Oh, yeah. If it's items down, you got to do the grab first. For everybody who hasn't played Troika, you have to roll to see if you can get the items out of your inventory. Yeah. Um. If it's only two items down, you'll definitely get it, though. I, I guess so. Okay. I've grabbed it. Successfully. Everyone, yay. I would like to throw some powder in, in the tiger's face and try and run past it. What do you... What's the goal with the powder throw? Is it just to blind? Kind of, yeah. Or just distract it, make it sneeze enough so it can't get me. I don't know if this is like oh, a disguise or just a j random thing, or I don't I don't know what I need to roll here. I think this will honestly, um, unless it counts as a weapon, but I don't. That wasn't not initially the intent, but I was gonna say it's. It seems like a skill plus like. Something like, because th throwing and um, other things like that are skills that you can technically have. Which I don't, don't have any of those. So it does seem like you are still versus me. I will give you um, plus another three on your roll modifier, like um, on whatever you roll. So it's like a what plus three then? Like, what am I rolling here? Uh... Roll one of your abilities, but set your ability at, like, rank 3 plus 3 for your skill modifier. You are trying to get higher than whatever I roll here. You are trying to get higher than a 14. With whatever, like, roll... Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm just gonna throw in a powder real quick. <laughs> so... Alright, and this is a versus... Damn it. <laughs> Alright, um... It wasn't... It was too short. <laughs> it was too short. It was three short because of, um, Seth played Wilted Hope. So everybody gets minus one on all of your rolls going Thanks, forward. Thanks, Seth. So, Katori, you see Simmons 
on one half of the um elevator with the chain around the other tiger's neck politely like sh like calm soothing it calming it down you see k throw a vial of um dye and a powder into this tiger's eye and then it's just all red this tiger is seeing red and it just launches on k and just starts like sn oh fuck this thing does like damage as a small beast right it's probably also sneezing oh. It is sneezing like crazy. It's terrible. It's the worst. This, these tigers do damage as a large beast. Let me see my little thing. Does I'm gonna, it oh. have disadvantage because it's got dust on them? I don't think. Well, I, feel like I know that's not I, how that works. But any cat I've ever seen sneeze is like completely paralyzed, other than the panic sneezing. Just the ch ch. So like you know when they're just I didn't sneezing pull, one I after did, another. I, I after technically another. failed, I guess. So. Oh, fail. sorry. Um, it is... Oh, wait. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna shuffle. Alright, um... Do, do, do. Are Maybe we in the <laughs> Alright, bad guy's turn. This is what bad guy's cards look like. Of course it is. Of course it's the bad guy's turn. Okay. Okay, it is going to try to attack you. Okay. This is going to be plus eight. That is 15. Do you have any abilities that'll help you get out of the way? Uh. What would you like to defend with? I technically have invisibility, I guess. This yeah, isn't a. Yeah, because this isn't a spell, so I can't use undo on it. Uh, versus... Yeah, versus. You, you're you looking to get higher than a 15. I'm so... <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Uh... Nope. Can I raise that? <laughs> it is down by one. So it yeah. is only a 10. Uh, I just, like, how does Category Up work in this instance? I don't think Category Up works in this one. There are no categories. Go figure. It's, okay, it's well, hit, hit me, boss. We'll play an old-school SRD style. I rolled a four. That is ten damage. Holy oh. crap. Um, that takes ten right out of your stamina. That hurt. Oh man, this this is gonna be wild. All right, so initiative again. Okay, it's your turn. Oh hey. Uh. Lord of mercy. I really just want to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you can make a break for it. Um, you can try run, but you don't have any skill in it. I don't. Can you invisible again? Or is that just like a one pat? Like, how's that work? I how's, how's think work? it takes points from my stamina as well, oh. technically. I'm trying to... <sighs> trying to remember how it works, because I technically need to remove that from my stamina, I think. Which Katori would have also needed to do that for Babel. So to cast a spell, you must spend stamina equal to your casting cost. Of of it in brackets. So I'm. Um, which spell did you try to use? Invisible. I think I'm trying to remember yeah, how much. Just invisible. one stamina. Okay, so I'm down to eight. Um. Um. I'm being told that ephemeral solution that was played by Flynn. If you want it. Uh... <laughs> uh... Trying to even think what that would be, just like, food? Do they want food? I don't, like... One of those, like, noise things that scares cats. Oh, yeah, like the clackers? Yeah. 
Nika's saying a spray bottle. <laughs> yeah, a spray bottle, yeah, there you go. No. No, I don't want a spray bottle, I'm allergic to water. <laughs> I like toast suggestion to throw a cu cucumber. <laughs> That is pretty funny. Oh, that's good. Uh, so either spray... No, I don't right now. I wouldn't have that right now. I guess I could currently using that, but like, it's not... Our stuff is different. With the ephemeral, you would have it. Like, cause this is yeah. whatever you need. Like, like we were saying before, you could have any of the items that you ha like would have in the real world if somebody plays Lucid Dream or Ephemeral Solution. It's like I, yeah, I'm perfect. Like, we're perfectly fine with it. If I use water, can I do that without getting it on me? Yeah, yeah. Cool. It's, it's the perfect solution. Like. You got. You just get out of it without any rolls. It's fine. Cool. Um, d spray bottle or bucket of water. I don't know. Water on it. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, give it a little pss pss in the face. Yeah. It just like shakes its head back and like, like the what? Cats don't really whine, but like maybe very, it hisses. Yeah, hisses a little bit. And it just like crawls into the corner of the room. It's like its face is covered with the red powder, and just like it's like, it's like licking its paws and wiping, trying to wipe the stuff off of its face. Meanwhile, Simmons is in the corner petting and getting along with the other tiger. Is it like crying red? Oh yeah, definitely. It looks terrible. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's like crying blood, and it's paper, so like it's like a little soggy now. It'll dry out wrinkly. These two have calmed down. Um, the trainer outside of this room has gotten the um, other tiger under control. This is why you don't let put large animals into confined places when they don't want to be there. None of us want to be in an elevator. Elevators are awful. Speaking of... Elevators are just small rooms! That move! Rooms shouldn't move. Have you ever been in a train? Yes. Yeah, a train is like an elevator that goes sideways, isn't it? I would never take a tiger in a train. That's ridiculous. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> but the, the elevator has stopped, right? Oh yeah, the elevator has stopped. It's been stopped so on this can... door for a while. So we can't. So we. Which floor are we again? Are we you at the, the right library. place? Yeah. So we should. We could. We could leave with the with our new angry friends. I'm trying to remember how the healing skill works. I'm gonna do something stupid. I want to give one of my provisions to the tigers. Do you have any animal training? No, I just want to. I just want to throw it on the floor so that they have it because they had a bad time and maybe they'll like us better. What kind of provision is it? Like, like what? Uh, what? Is, what is Simmons' provisions? By the way, like um, it's definitely you, like think a think dream like logic. A, what would Simmons pack? For you know, like with the um the the subs where they're like wrapped in the little paper wrappings and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like that, just one of those, uh, one of those giant mosquitoes from the uh, when, when we electrocuted them in the the swamp there. One of those big nasty ones, just one of those wrapped up in in that paper wrapping. No, oh, sick. He loves mosquitoes. Yeah, he gets skeeter bites all the time whenever he stops at the gas station. You mean exactly. one of those ones that eats lowers? That eats lower, the corrupted ones. No. Yeah. The yeah. Solid. Oh. I was not aware that we were doing those now. Okay. Yeah, those those big ones. It's, it's obviously it's dead, but Oh yeah, of course. Why wouldn't it be? But it's wrapped up in one of them one of them little pieces of like paper. I just open it up and huck it down and I I like gesture to the the one that I'm friends with. 
and back the fuck up. Yeah, roll me a luck. Yeah, you still like now, now you're I down can to fail. eleven. Like now, now you're down to the level where you can start failing. So yeah, this tiger like leans forward, sniffs it, takes a big bite out of it, and like runs back towards the elevator and just like sits down in front of the elevator and starts eating this giant mosquito. And it is crunchy. I'm happy about that. How? Okay, so I have a skill called healing. I don't know. <laughs> Functionally, how it would be used. So, Patagon all of a sudden hears his communicator ring. Oh, okay. And through the communicator, he hears Katori's voice. Hey, Pat, a friend, can you please bring your plushie to me so that I can upgrade it as soon as you get back from your adventure? Uh, I can, but aren't you just up the staircase? I could just bring it to you now. Well, I thought that would take longer. Hey, Pagan's just like brain still a little bit foggy from the sudden exertion of energy running from the the tiger. But he's be like, could you repeat what would take longer? Uh oh. They did say tea earlier. Leave it to you, the crew, to get lost when you're on a mission, to get distracted. Can't even complete the most simple tasks. Of course they, we don't. I mean, that's just how we are. That's how you are, Kay? Of course. Mm -hmm. How are you, really? Eh. I do my best. Hmm. It seems like you do. And Patagon, I expected more from you. Mm. Well, T, you're not even supposed to be here. Oh no, I am here. I'm always here. You see, I'm the ruler of the Folded City. Welcome. Hey, did everybody else's tokens just disappear for some reason? I mean, that's probably fine, right? What the hell just that? Like, all of you guys' tokens disappeared, but nobody else, like, none of the other ones I made disappeared. I honestly, out of character, thought that you did that on purpose, so. Yeah, yeah. me too. Fucking wish. Just casually yeah. disappear, everyone. It's just like, oh, huh. Hmm. Yeah, you, that was when you cast invisibility. It finally showed, it finally happened. It was delayed. This enormous creature here turns and looks at T. And, like, that is a creature. That is all just one thing. That's out incorrect. Of, out of this mouth, it's just like, My lady T, I was not expecting you at this time. How can I serve? Do you need access lower? We do. 
Please allow us access to the garden. Thank you. Oh, good. Garden. We, we need to go there. The, the fancy contract we signed said so. Hagan's still a little bit confused as to why T is here. Brain's very full of voices and can't quite concentrate. You don't want to look around first, Patagon? It's not, I, but the contract very... Okay. We can get there. Enough, Kay. I'm here because I am the one that sent out the request for help, for aid. We actually don't have time to see the garden, so let's head directly to the roots, to the root of the problem. I'll need your assistance to solve a problem I believe we are all experiencing. I am somewhat injured. I would like to take care of myself first. It does say heal is only for um, stopping major blood loss and stuff. It, um, okay. Healing doesn't actually recover HP. Cool. Is, I mean, we could hang out and have a snack, and that would there do is something, that. right? Yeah, but that would mean that we'd have to hang out and not do what this. It's time is cousins. hard. <laughs> time is hard because you said we'd been walking for a long time, but we haven't. Like eight, eight hours of rest has not occurred, so I'm like, um, how do we heal? <laughs> I mean, you guys could you could say that you stop and rest here. Um, if you do that, the next floor does get harder, though. I, I mean, I'm fine some, if you want to. I'm gonna say something really kind of weird, but Patrick's gonna follow T. He doesn't really want to stop at this point. So come hell or high water, he's not stopping here now. Why? Why don't you want to stop here? This. This place gives me the creeps. I, I can't put a point on it. Like I said, you, you guys didn't see the vision. This library, it, it just it doesn't feel right. Pedagon. It, Simmons points at, he said T, T and K. And he's like, he come. I'm sorry. This is this is like, he goes to Patagon by himself. Like he it's, he's quiet, and he says Patagon, and he points at the two of them, and he's like, they're both they're both made of, are they both made of the same stuff? Who is that? They, you roll me a um awareness, Pat, not Patagon, um Simmons. Awareness. <laughs> you don't. Have I don't have with that. Uh, so yeah, what you're gonna do is roll me. I am looking for a 10. Roll me 2d6, and the, what you are hoping for is a 10 or higher. 2d6 plus nothing. Plus nothing. Five. And you and would roll 10. a 14, which is not a 13. <laughs> so many, there have been so many that are so close. So, when you look at K... You see what we traditionally know about K, a plant, papery, fragmented obsidian through their humanoid-shaped body. When you look at T, what you see is wrapped bandages around a very, like, eloquent... They both are wearing very eloquent outfits. Elegant, not eloquent. I know. Actually, both work in this situation. Ah, <laughs> nice. But you've no, you've hung out with T. It's like you've you, not T. You, you've hung out with K. You spent time with K. Um, K is her 
and his like leaves and his like hand like that that is all K. When if T touches you, T is what is inside those bandages. But that's all you can like learn get, glean from that failure. Hmm. Also, T, do you punish him for trying to look too close? Um, no, I I think that uh, T just kind of, her eyes light up and, and you get the vibe that like she's grinning, but not like a friendly grin. It's like an everybody gets one sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. I like that. <laughs> you get one attempt to be nosy. This dragon, well, um, that, which is what this is called. This dragon takes a step aside and motions with one of its many limbs towards a small alcove over here that leads further down. I did not, it turns out I didn't make T able to be moved. And that is where it leads down to the, we'll call it the problem area. Leads down, down is obviously towards the bottom. That's fine. This is where we should go anyway, right Patagon? Anywhere is better than here right now. We gotta go to the bottom. He will lead the way. I really want to glance around before we go. He will not wait. I am not surprised. Do you want to separate? It... You will have to convince the dragon to let you through on your own if you don't follow. Okay. And I didn't know how this room was going to work. I was ready for you guys to fight the dragon, but... I mean, that sounds like us normally. Hmm. I assume that trying to use second sight would mean that I would be separating, so I just need to go with the group. Or you just do you never know. Hmm? Peer pressure. <laughs> Are you just telling me to peek? <laughs> I'm not telling you to do anything, but you do like libraries. You're the one trying to freaking beat feet out of here. Yes, and I will be going. <sighs> Patagon, I'm you may just... not disappoint me yet. I'm just gonna go with them. Absolutely. As you guys go down, you see... Hey and Patagon, at least, you start to see very familiar-looking roots. Hmm. I definitely don't see a strange bird. No bird, but... No, no, no. Like, then, you were all in... It is st the same art style as the rest of the folded city, but the textures are all wrong. Like, the walls are made of copper. Somewhat rusted in place, tarnished is the word I'm looking for. Holes eaten through them. This is definitely the result of the corruption at one point. Old corruption, of course. I as you guys cleaned up that mess, let me make you guys a bit bigger. So this is remnant damage, but no corruption? Yeah, exactly that. You guys took care of the corruption. We don't have to worry about that. We, like, you guys did it. We said we did it. We took care of it. 
but the walls of these roots are still scarred from its presence. So, I'm going to start with uh, by scanning through his uh, staff uh, crystal and do a uh, second sight. So, from what I read, that gives me a plus one, but doesn't say where the plus one's at. If it's just to the result, or if it's just his plus one second sight. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, just add. Um, raise your second sight's rank to one um, by one. Okay. Cool. And just do an under check then. Yep, just an under check will be perfectly fine. Ah, darn. Oh, no, you actually failed that one. Oh, wait, did... No, wait, no, you shouldn't have. Yeah. Oh, it should It should have been a tie. I don't know why it didn't count it, but... Like, it yeah. must not have updated, even though I updated the rank. Huh. Yeah, because it's an 8 versus an 8. So... I don't know. Is also... Wilting Hope still up? No, Wilting Hope is still up, it is, too, yeah. though, so it does... Oh, it sorry. will be that minus... Okay, well. There are crit failures in this game. It's when you either roll two six to two ones when you're looking for the opposite, but... So that means I don't get a point, I assume. You don't get a point, but you did cause a failure. Hell yeah. Oh. Um, Patagon. When you look through your crystal for the second sight, this entire room illuminates with ridiculous amounts of light. Oh. Um, Simmons, you like your eyes are blinded by this. K, the force of magic like shudders you. Like like all of your crystals begin to resonate wrong for a moment. Even even the villain version of you. This is this is gross. It feels like dipping into a pond full of scum at the top. You know all the floating detritus and stuff. Imagine you have to like slink through it. Patagon, what did you do? Apparently, this is what it actually looks like. I uh, guess it's as good as mine. T, you like, are hit with the wave of it. As uncomfortable as it is, as terrible as it is, you've been putting up with this day after day. Like, the smell of this, like, corrosive magic. And it is all here. This is too much magic, everyone. But we don't get any clues on how to fix it with that. Um, can each one of you, including T, oh, well, I'm going to roll for this. Ooh, you each lose five luck. Ow. Which Should is gonna make T me have assume. started out? Oh, sorry. No, you had. Uh, should T have started out with twelve? Oh yes, sorry. T, luck. I... Okay, okay, that's okay. I'll fix it. Uh, I was just gonna say that this is just gonna make any attempts at second sight harder now. <laughs> you all feel that luck. And luck in this is what I'm calling magic. Like, that is your AP. You feel it pull out of you. And then this massive machine of just gears and brass. Very much, like, if we know what the weir looks like, that's this yeah. is what that looks like. As it is churning. As the owl up at the top, like, starts clicking its head. It has a clock face as its actual face. That's cool. Does it go to 13 or 12? Just 12. Cool. Mm, okay, good, good. And it ticks up. You Actually, it goes up 20 times. 
Like you see it like tick forward hours, and like steam starts flying out of its ears. Uh, so that was twenty from you guys. That was a that was a big number. That's the whole room starts shaking a bit. It's just like I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't think 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 we can survive with that. T explain. Out of character. Alan, help. <laughs> I'm on it. This is like a stopgap. Like a dam. Like, oh no, you guys. T can't explain. T called you guys here because you guys need to figure this out. T can't figure it out. Oh no. Like, you guys are the ones that saved the world. T's just responsible for her city. It's like, this is on you. You brought us here, did not tell us what was going on, and you expect us to fix your problems. My, how the turntables turn. Echo wide catastrophe. Imminent. Well, I know the echo, and that that doesn't sound good. Is this because we skipped the garden? Don't you skipped the garden? We're trying to get to the bottom so we can get to the garden. I I, I, I tried to warn them. But the you content. can visit it on the way back out. It's fine. And that's awful big talk from a wad of paper. Can can I use second sight? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, remind me, do I click under? Under, yep. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So with a success, a lot of ones and fours, and a lot like all over the place. All right. Where so, is the thirteens? Damn it! <laughs> None for you. So, what you see, T, is this whole wall is blocking a surge of magic on the other side. And it is, oh boy, a level of magic. It is about equal to the wave of nightmares that hit the world, but it is all stopping here. Like, T, you don't know who built the weir. You weren't here for that. Like, you showed up when they showed up. Like, you haven't been here for an in infinite amount of time. But you've been here for a long enough to plant the librarian and have him grow, begin to grow. But, the, so this, these tunnels were under here for as long as you've been here. And up until right now... They've never been a problem. They have been mostly inactive. Sure. Some of the um, corrupted creatures crawled out of here, but they were nothing to you. Absolutely just pittance. They would climb into your city, and then you would just eradicate them, as as you were one to do, as you were want to do. But this is so much magic and so much energy that it is turning your people more abstract more into lesser versions of themselves they are unfolding and despite the way you've glossied it up of it at the top nobody can get in and out of the folded city proper right now it's too dangerous behind this wall is all of the magic the Echo is supposed to be fluctuating through it. But how, like, I need a way to, that we can explain that. How can you guys all piggyback on T's success? What questions would you guys ask of T that I can answer for you? So... This is magic that is normally supposed to be flowing across Echo? 
it seems like it should be flowing through the roots. And the roots are not currently allowing that. It's a big old wall. And what appears to be a valve. So someone stopped some someone at some point in time tried to stop the magic from coming through here or Can we tell if the valve is like jammed or I can do an awareness check if you'd like. Yeah, absolutely. Give me an awareness. I think no um can you guys give me a little scene of getting the valve uncovered? It is covered in roots. It is covered in these gnarled trees. I mean, I are the trees important? Sights. How how important are the trees if they like if they if the the parts of it that are there went away, would it be bad? We just want them gone, right? How long have they been here? The weird-looking roots. Um, okay, okay. Alright, so. Uh, Sept failed. Patagon failed his awareness. Oh, no. It wasn't a crit fail, though. So, it's just... Um. So, let... Um, I don't, if we destroy these roots, it's not a problem, by okay. the way. I got this. I can eat hard objects. Oh, snap. He's gonna have lunch. So you're just gonna start, alright, alright, what's that look like? Alright, so. We're gonna give Patagon a re-roll on that. Like Patagon's trying to like look at the um things, and you see thorny barbs sticking out of this these tree roots. And like they're everywhere. Patagon's trying to get in there to touch them, to get his hands on it. But you see every time he tries, it's look it, they look like they are moving to stab him in the hand. Or in his flippers. Can you? What? What's a good roll to eat? Uh, give me a luck roll. Test your luck. Oh, Simmons. Mm hmm. You crunch down on it, and like you manage to clear some of the space for Patagon to like get through. And, wait. Are you immune from poison? I'm immune from mundane poisons. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, what's that look like? Um, Patagon, uh, not, pa yeah, Patagon and Simmons. Mm -hmm. As you are clearing this um, area by eating it. What's that looking what's that looking like for everybody? So, uh, Patagon's trying to maybe uncover the the valve, so you know, and and it's you know trying to stab him in the the flipper, so he's really just trying to reach in there. But the just being this close to that door is just really blinding his uh, you know sight mainly, so it's just really disorienting. So he's not able to quite get where he needs to. I think every time one of those things tries to stab you, I just reach I just reach out and chomp on it. So is he still gonna get to re-roll or does the fail mean no? Patagon can Patagon can re-roll, but um so here's how I think the set the setup is. Patagon, you're up there looking. Simmons, you are um like one of those things goes right into the roof of your mouth. One of those thorns. And like, it hurts, so you have to stop biting down. In... As the show version of this would show one of these thorns, and, like, we would give everybody a warning, because I'm about to be, like, a little, like, 
body horror -y. So, mute for 30 seconds if you're worried. Um, starting now. Yeah. The thorn goes right, right up into your palate. And then begins to burrow its way right up through. And, like, we would see it going, like, past the, your inner eye and then into your brain, Simmons. Oh, God. As it is trying to, like, drill its way into your brain. Well, I'm sure that's fine. Is that doing damage to him? Um, you lose two more points of your luck. Oh, no. Simmons is, like, he's very, like, uneasy on your feet right now as you are falling backwards. Simmons. Can you... Alright, so here's how it's gonna be. Every turn that somebody does not help you, Simmons, you have to test your luck. If you fail... Oh, God. You forget somebody that you have had signed sign your book. Oh, no. And I don't mean you just forget them now. You forget them until the end of October. Oh, no. They do not exist to you. Until somebody helps you get that thing out of your mouth. T, Patagon seems to be on to something. He is, like, looking at a lever. K, Simmons is falling backwards towards you. What do we all want to do? Hmm. Good question. I don't really have any doctoring like abilities, so. Can I second sight to see what is happening to Simmons? Or can yeah, he tell me yeah. that? <laughs> okay. Is this a versus or. I think this is an under. Because I don't think Simmons is fighting you for it. It's so close. Ooh, but yeah, absolutely a success. Um, you see it. Um, this thorn is draining. That's a really good roll. Um, uh, what, this thing is dra draining magic out of Simmons, and not just magic; it is eating his story. These are the roots to that tree above. So those are the fucking librarian roots? Yeah, bingo. I mean, at this point, am I allowed to realize it was the librarian, or am I still an idiot? Oh no, you, you are completely convinced it was not the librarian. So you it's just know just... it's to that tree. Uh, this is tree. a spooky tree, everybody. The spooky you tree know, is spooky eating trees, him. Like Claire. Great. But Kay okay. told us all and spoke out loud and, and said what they found, right? We at least know it's connected to the tree. I think only mm. if Kay tells you. No. No. That would be helpful. Um... <laughs> Simmons, I love you, but Kay is going to pretend to help you. And probably hurt you a little bit in the process. Uh, I have a knife. Oh, God. I mean, I might end up helping you in the process, but I'm probably going to hurt you also, is the thing. Because I'm going to cut the root, and I'm probably going to cut your mouth. Who needs teeth? So anyway, I guess, uh, can I stab the root and or Simmons to get it out of his mouth? Yeah, absolutely. Um, to, to me, to, to your GM, Alan, um, which one are you actually aiming for? I 
I am aiming to harm him and make it look like a mistake. That's what I thought you were trying to do. <laughs> hey, help me 20. with this. Oh, fuck. What's it what? look like? Sorry, what I did was, you say? I was Alan? given a 20 at the beginning of this game. You get it. Oh. <laughs> what does what is that quick success look like? <sighs> well, we're getting close to the end of the game. I don't know. The palate of the mouth goes like right up into the brain. And... You know, the max damage on my knife is like a 10, but if it's a 20, then it's like double in theory. So maybe I just slip because, it, you know, the knife got caught on the on the vine. <laughs> 18 is less than 20. <laughs> yep, 18 is less than 20, little buddy. And Kay is going to make an inhuman noise of horror. One point for Kay. <laughs> <laughs> Simmons, no! Wow. I was I was trying to I was trying to cut the, the root loose and and I almost got it, I swear I did, but it moved! It moved? Like, the root? The root, it moved! Well, that's not good. T's so just staring at Kay. If you want to try and figure, like, I mean, technically I got a 20, but I'm like, I'm not... Oh, like if you want to try and figure it out, because I mean, you probably would be the person here to see it. If I mean, Pentagon maybe, but at this point, he has no actual reason to doubt you. So, but T might. I mean, T's mysterious. I don't know. That's up to up to Kator. T would um, just uh, shake her head and say, of course it moved. Sure. And then just turn back around and try to help Patagon with what he's working on. Because in the end, she doesn't care, so. <laughs> Fair enough. What, what Patagon, are, are we, oh, sorry. Does Patagon actually know that Simmons is dead? I mean... He didn't say that she did, just that she missed the he, room. He, I am, in fact, going to say he's dead. Just oh, like, okay. yeah. Well, in, in that case, I mean, he, he's going to have to stop what he's doing and go at least... Blood, blood everywhere. Try to... I'm not exactly sure what at this point. I, I guess we'll try a second sight and just... See what he sees. <laughs> <laughs> so that still be an under or reverses K on this one because K might not want. Me I to. think it'd probably be versus K. Okay. Oh my God, that is a thirteen. The thirteen that versus you. That's it. That's you just so had to funny. play against. I love it. <laughs> Thank All right, Kay, guys. take it. Yeah, um, at this point, can I just, can, can Kay just reveal himself at this point? Is that okay? Am I allowed to do that? Go for it. Live your dream. We, <laughs> we did say that the first 13 of people in games that they are in, because I've been doing it for Osiria every time Osiria is in a game, that 13 goes to the player playing. <sighs> oh, man. Oh man, cuz that I'm probably fighting Patagon at this point. Yeah. Um so I assume Patagon has come over to check on K, right? Oh oh yeah. Yeah, I mean when you scream that that he's dead, he, you know, this is this is Simmons, you know, his you know, buddy and 
creator of his favorite drink, he, he's very concerned at the moment and trying to figure out what, what's going wrong. Uh, okay, yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> NK's gonna, you know, um, let's let's have a lucid moment. Where is it? I think that cut out on me real hard. What happened? Lucid moment, and I am going to attempt to use my normal ability and stab him and electrocute him. <laughs> oh, we're going to straight up try to shock Patagon. Patagon, yeah. I did a good old cry, fake cry, and then we're laughing and say, you idiot. I don't know if you heard that part. I, I heard the um the laughing and the you idiot, and then it like cut out on me. Yeah. Um, give me a d20. Alright. <laughs> that was so, that that. so funny. See, this is where all the 13s were. The, the, oh my the god. Dice were like just waiting for the right part. Uh... So. Yeah. <laughs> How do you electrocute? The host of the Patagon show. Uh, yeah. Um. So, just like reach out with the knife because I don't want to have my like just knife at this point. Just like stab right up under your beak, just like and electrocute you. Uh. So you know your brain a little bit. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're toasted from the inside. See, how much damage does shock normally do? Uh, it depends on if we're doing shock or if we're doing my ability. I think. Hold on. Oh no! Yeah, it. Nika is, Nika is, like, confirming something for me. It literally doesn't matter what the numbers are. It's a critical success. What K was going after works. As long as it's in the horror vein. That yep. 13. Okay. I... I kind of... I don't know if this is allowed, but can I send them to the Silver Thimble somewhere that they can be seen? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think the whole fucking world's about to see this. Uh, I, I, not just anywhere in Simple Thimble. Let's put it live on the Patagon show. One more bubble comes out and says, Welcome to the Patagon show. Let's do it live. Yeah, because Kay is kind of cheating. And... <laughs> Kay can see, like, the the world's manuscripts. That's how they see. And the, normally Kay does not touch that to this extent, but Kay is basically just tearing through the script right now and flash-cutting us to the Patagon show. Because <laughs> it's a dream. This is a dream. This is a lucid moment, and this is a dream. Not the first time we flash-cut to the Patagon show on a thirteen. Hey, T? This is really wild. K is a lot stronger than they should be. Like, this is not the same K that you... fought, helped, slash helped before. This is a much different K. And only... the year or so between, like, when the Silver Thimble arrived here and now seems wild for this to be so incongruous. The Patagon show filming in their new, like, uh, what, what do they call a backup studio? Is it a remote studio? Yeah, remote location, because the D20 Rock is... The D20 under... Rock is collapsed. 
So we, so it actually might be Holt. So it, wherever that makes the most sense. Yeah, wherever like it's def it's gonna be, it's gonna be in the silver thimble, I think. Oh, it could be in Holt, one of the two. But yeah, it's on the Patagon show. Um, T, this is confusing. You're usually the one that does strange underhanded magic, not somebody doing it to you. Coming to you live from Holt, our backup Patagon show location. The <laughs> camera just goes straight over to the other two. I'm going to roll. Absolutely. Alright, lower your luck by one, but... You've done did the thing. You have your scythe. What's it look like? Where do you pull that from? Just hammer space. Like, I pull it out from behind. Like, I put my hand behind my back. And it sort of just, like, magics. Like, color guard style. Right straight out. And uh, spins out. And it looks all cool. How do you spell scythe, and why can I not do it? Oh, okay, I got it. Um, your staff bedecked with charms and baubles is now a scythe bedecked with charms and baubles. Fantastic. This is very counterproductive. I've had enough. And she's gonna fight Kano. <laughs> uh... Sorry, you can probably oh, shit. I never showed you guys. I never showed the rest of you, like the fact that Kira this entire time has had two character sheets. Katorian, Katori. I didn't know if when she made the rolls, if it would say the character sheet name. So the only hint I wanted to give you guys was the fact that it was in quotations. All right, Katori, what's your fight against... Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. T, what is your fight against... Since uh... I changed locations, but it's technically the same scene, am I still lucid dreaming? I, th like, I think If not, we're... I can play it again. I think, yeah, you could play another one for sure. But I do believe we gotta let T have a have a swing. Oh yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know. I don't remember Terralor's attacks um at all. I'm sorry. Oh, she had like a flaming scythe. She had um Oh uh, yeah. Oh what do, do Oh fuck, that's right. It's you... been so long. <laughs> oh I guess K gets help? I don't... I don't know. Because I'm technically the villain, I guess. And... I did hit level 5, so... That would be my, um... Proxies. Okay, yeah, that's perfectly fine. I'm trying to go to where is T's character sheet. It won't let me log into Volt. What the fuck? Man, Volt 20 is really acting up sometimes, guys. Whatever you do, don't log out of Volt 20. People, it seems to not let people lock it back in. Well. Uh oh. Okay, we're getting that. Um, but T, if if you could basically do. Any attack, what would it look like, you think? 
Um, T is just going to aim for um, separating uh, K's head from their body. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me a versus. This is going to be just plus your raw skill, and then T, you are going to be not T. K, it's plus your raw skill as well. So 2d6 plus 5 for T, and 2d6 plus 3 for K. But then again, K, you also have two others that you could just sacrifice to this. Alright, so 11 for T. And 10 for K. Can I raise that? K's cheating. Oh yeah, absolutely. K's hand just, like, K's hand twitches out to the side and, like, reality just kind of shifts slightly and that, so we're basically even. <laughs> Which I think means neither of us get hurt. Yeah, neither one of you get hurt, but there's a cool weapon clash. What does it look like? What do you block T's attack with? Like, if, if T's coming in trying to slash your head off with a scythe, what is the, what does the block look like? Uh, probably the weapon that I have. Hold on, what's it called? Boundless Force? The, um, it's the one the, from the Star Wars game. Or, er, Legally Distinct Space Battle. Yeah, solid. Absolutely. Um, you always thought they were incompetent. I'm just doing your job for you. Terralor uh, sighs heavily, and she's like... Poorly. Poorly? You haven't been doing anything. Because my goal wasn't to kill you. <laughs> it never was, was it? I did always wonder why. Terra Lord, Lady of the Second Chances. Uh, yeah, right? If you had any deeper thought in you, you may have had an idea as to why. Alright, Kay. Your, um, your proxy jumps in to help you. What's that attack looking like on on Terralor? Um... Let's see... Give me half a second. Uh... Ugh. Lord, I'm not finding what I want. I, for now, I guess I'm just gonna be, assume standard electricity attack for now. is really annoying. I'm trying to find something and I'm not. I'm sorry, you two that died. <laughs> I'm not. This is hilarious. Oh, I, I think this is, this is great. I mean, there were a few other things I wanted to potentially, but yeah, this is fun. Hey, we don't have to worry about that contract anymore, though. Hopefully. Um. Hmm. Oh, this is frustrating. I'm sorry. Um. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna... Similar electricity attack until I can find what I'm looking for. Alan, yeah, um, okay. give me yeah, give me two D, um, two D six, and then add three to them. Eight. I don't know if that's gonna get anything. Uh, Katori, can you do two D six and add five to it? Chorka says right in the book. Don't try. Don't attempt um, PvP. But here we are. Yeah, here we are. We never listen to the rules. What? Yeah, I think that you uh, managed to counter that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. T. To show K just how strong you are, how do you? What do you do to her proxy that jumps into you? Like. Like, it's, it's lunging at you, it's about to, it's trying to do shock to you. Like, you see, um, electric, like, folded, um, origami figures all around it. Mostly paper airplanes, because that is still really cool. Um, as they're coming at you, what, what is your no, fuck you? Like, your little hand wave, you grab it by the throat, you're like, Haroken! Uh, yeah, actually, if if I'm just attacking the one, I'd grab it by the throat and light it on fire. Yeah. Fire is good. With, like, my... Just, just you know, what I'm made of. Mm -mm. Hey, Kay, you see that second your proxy burst into flames, as you would expect, you know, you would yeah. as well. That's not much fun. Um, can I play a spell scroll card since I'm technically still awake ish? Um, that was Katori went. Did you go? I'm oh, sorry, T went. You both, like, tied. Did you go? Or did you just command your guys? I guess that would have been the guys. I mean... <sighs> they're technically backup, so I don't know if they're, like, a separate move from me mo acting, separate, or... Separate move from you. Okay. Now a pile of ashes on the ground. Eh, well. That one's dumb, I don't like that one. Alright, so I guess is it my turn? It then? is your turn. I, um, full disclosure, th like, this is Alan, GM, telling caustic the player okay you do not want to fight t okay t has everything on your character right now like like k is proven very effective but that's all fair t, all t has to do is touch you and you burn i mean if that's the case i can just you know dramatically retreat <laughs> i like i was like we were hoping for like a dramatic retreat more than, like, are you trying to take her on? Because, like, there is a world where K beats T here. I'm not saying there isn't, but that's going to take a lot of, like, really good rolls for you or a lot of, like, playing a bunch of cards to make sure it's stacked, which, fine, but not very fun and not good for the story, you know? But I think the fact that K killed both Simmons and Patagon. Yeah, so what I was wanting to do... <laughs> Oh, Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I the the plan had been if you allowed me, I was going to play Befizzle, which would prevent her from casting magic, so that I could then leave. <laughs> but if not, I can just use Gate and hope she can't follow me. Oh, you can most certainly Gate, and she can't follow you. 
I leave um, her in the thimble. Oh, you this can... is uh, not the thimble. This is. Oh yeah, hold yeah. The remote location. Yeah, coming to you live from a remote location. Live, live from the gala. So yeah, that's like if I can get away without her following me, I mean, can I get one hit on her before I go? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely give it a shot, but like, still, yeah, we can see how those rolls work out. Look, uh, is it any fun if I don't try? Yeah, go for it. I, I, I'm just like, I don't want, I don't want T to just spank you without warning, you know. I mean, I, I still don't think she can just spank you, but she, it's. It's up in the air. Depending on what Kate uh, Kay chooses to do. I mean, this, it's up this to you. This is all true. Uh, I mean, I have Callous Strike as a spell. <laughs> which is like a ranged weapon attack. Yeah, go for it. I assume this is a versus. Oh yeah, most certainly. Okay, so that was a 15. Is that a 13 for her? Am I in my math math incorrectly? Oh, yeah, I was so, Callous Strike. The Wizard Knights are most famed for the remote combat when silver swords seemingly appear out of nothing. The spell can be used to place... Oh, okay. You will slash her with a sword. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so roll me... Sword damage? A D6, yep. I think I have a... There we go. I have a sword cane. Okay. Yep, roll five, damage six. Alright. So... You slash K, I sorry, K, you slash T, dealing six damage. Um, that's from your vitality, or your stamina. So you are down to 16 stamina. Which she's looking a lot better than I am. <laughs> yeah, she, she's still twice up on you. T, you have just been slashed by this person. Where actually, K, where did you hit her? T, how do you react? Well, it's a dream, so I can take an arm, right? Not with a six. You'd have to <laughs> at least. I, you'd have to at least do half her damage for a limb. Uh, and, oh no! Abs you know what? Absolutely. If you want to take one of her limbs, cause like. Isn't the way the teeth work is like you can just bite off a whole limb with like a smaller amount? That, so. That's a very specialized okay. attack. That is not just some like you throwing out a magic sword. Ah, uh, fighting mechanics. Uh, I mean, just she's in front of me, so the most center body mass makes the most sense. All right, T. What is your response to this? Oh, I'm sure that she's gonna send some fireflies after me, which will fucking suck. Uh, is it... Is it a counter? Or is it an attack? Like, what am I... What am I allowed to do? Uh, this is your full turn. Okay, what? um... I'm gonna cast Fireball, which I assume that I have, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you have Fireball from... 
Alright, do do do. Let me see. One second. In Troika, it is called Firebolt. Shoot an impressive flames with your fingertips, dealing damage to one target within 20 meters. This is gonna be a versus. Um. I need 2d6 plus 5 from T and 2d6 plus 3 from K. Hey, it's 13. Who wants it? So, um, absolutely. And then we got... You still caught... Like, Kira still caught... I'm sorry. T still beat K. Uh, looks like cash dibsed. I did see that. Puts oh. cash at ten. Only if cash wins. If cash wins, yeah. But first, I need a six cider from T. Nine fire damage, K. Well, I would be down in theory. Am I allowed to use the reactionary shield that I have in normal quest rules, or do I need to do something else? I think that would have to be a lucid dream situation. Or I was ephemeral. still lucid dreaming, but I can do ephemeral. You, you, lucid dream only works for like one thing. I thought it was one scene, but okay, I can one yeah, thing can... for one scene. Like you being able to fly in one scene, not being able to like do everything. I gotcha. But this is like oh, um, yes. I'm mostly just. K would. K is trying to not go down, so I'm like, how are they gonna do this? Because they are going to end up teleporting away at this point. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Uh, feel free to teleport away, or if <sighs> we could do it this way. All right. So, if we want to scare the thimble, if we are. If that is the part that we are at, if the ohm that we is, want yep. more fear, if both Cash wants fear but remains unknown as the boogeyman, and K wants fear and hopelessness to spread, if everybody in that moment like sees a moment of fun, oh K went down, does everybody think K is the baddie, or does everybody think T's the baddie? Like, uh, yeah, after killing, yeah, so, I think it is just, like, we can do a cool, like, shadowy moment of a shadow, like, reaching out from underneath one of the chairs and Kay falling into it and dodging the fireball as, um, Cash saves Kay to, like, haunt in the future. But you guys would have to make that agreement that you want to work together. You don't have to do that. He doesn't like cash. Absolutely fair. Kay does Cash doesn't like K. You can't <laughs> You can't say that. I mean if you wanna do it does Cash like K enough to come save their ass it could, because it could be like a not even having to like each other for it, you know what I mean? Just like you being alive is scary. Yeah, I'm only say just what sends it. Right? Yeah. Enemy of enemy, just like whatever spreads the fear. <laughs> you owe me one such oh, Sure. You owe me one, that's a good I think that is the th that is the th silver thimble versus cash. 
and we've got Patagon here. He's the voice of the thimble. Well, I mean, he was. Right? Um, if you want to roll oh. a d20, Patagon versus Cash. Cash has plus nine, so whatever Cash rolls. Okay. It feels impossible. Yeah. We're going to roll it anyway. Just gets to the one. It is not. So. In. What? So a, a sense of fear and hopelessness begins to spread all through the thimble. Like, again, we are cursed with another round of there are minus one on all rolls until a crit is rolled for tomorrow and the next day and the next day until we roll either a natural 20 or a crit for the games that we play. It's just like live on air. We have the electrocuted bodies of Simon uh, the stabbed body bleeding all over the place of Simmons and the electrocuted corpse of Patagon on the Patagon show. You saw T, someone that you haven't seen in over a year, like fighting with K. Very confusing. T, at the end of this, do you just go home or do you stay? Because you can just go home. Sorry, we didn't solve the problem at all. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. We didn't solve the problem. Right? Everything is still bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving this a ponder. One second, I'm checking something. <laughs> I'm actually going to say this out loud real quick. Kira, this is really good. This is actually good. We can really work this into the story. This is fine. You asked these guys, you tried to get these guys to, for help, but you did it in your own secretive ways, the way that you do. Like, because, you know. Um, but these guys couldn't help you. So we're going to try again. Like, there is definitely somebody else that can help you. So we're going to try to, like... Go ahead. I want to know if she figures out if something's wrong with Kay. <laughs> or if she I, cares. I think I was attempting to hint the whole time. I think, yeah, she, like... She saw what you... What Kay was before. Like, she knows you're not right now. Mm -hmm. But does she know what's wrong? <laughs> yeah, she she would have an inkling. I would I agree. But whether she knows exactly what it is, I don't. I don't think not fully, but knows knows that you are not the you from the same timeline as everybody else is. Mm hmm. Meanwhile, somewhere Katori is just having snacks. I was gonna say, where is Katori? What the hell happened to her? She's back I'm... in her workshop. Terralor was moment. pretending to she be. She was her never daughter. there. Shifted. Oh, son of a yeah. bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Between but... Katori, Kay, and someone else, I don't remember the. Th oh, Akana. They were the only three that had actually s really observed that who T was and that she was trying to help. Um, I know that Katori and Kay were the only people that could actually read the book of um, the, the, the stories that she wrote out, the, the retellings, the recount of how the crew was fucking up um, the world by well, fucking the trees. The librarian fucked up the book whenever Royce read it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, but, um, so, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't remember my point, but yes, uh, yeah, that. I'm just gonna move Kay down under here like they're hiding under the chair. Which, which card is the one that has nothing on it? The one that from earlier was the uh, the give a give a card give a somebody a twenty. Um, the one that I played a while back was the uh, the thirteen one. Hmm. So Alan's doing some thinking. It is. It's like a. It's a heck and think. Um, is all. But, I think, for now, that is where we're gonna end this game. With okay, yeah. So T is just gonna be like, that's all, folks. Give a bow and poof okay. away. That's a wild exit. I mean, what else is she gonna do? Like, there's dead bodies everywhere, and she's just like, "Well, she, fuck it, we she ball." She just leaves Bye. the studio, and there's just corpses on the floor, and just, like the not the, her mess, not the her problem. Show just not her keeps mess. running until it dies, and does that. Uh, the end of the yeah, damn yep. the the Fallout the, yep. the screen, you know the one, the, the one I posted the variant of in the chat, yeah. Oh, I had that muted because I kept getting pinged in the ear. Yeah. Yep, um, not her circus, not her monkeys. Bye. It's like, peace. All right, everybody. And that is the end of us playing Troika in the most savage ending that we've had thus far. That was great. Do you yeah. Sorry, the end kind of went blah, because fighting T is, you know. Not something Snake. for the late hearted. Yeah. I didn't think you were I thought you'd be like, I thought you were going to be like sneaky in the background about it. I thought you were just going to like stab in the back and then like. Look, I hadn't planned on killing Patagon, but he came so close. Okay. I had planned on killing Simmons. But yeah, everybody. So I see how it is. <laughs> moving forward in our dream reality, that is until the end of this month. Okay, so we have lost. Who are the beloved characters that we have lost, everybody? Um, Ether. We, we lost Ether, of course. Uh, Stefan. We lost Stefan. We lost Peanut. We've now lost Simmons. We've lost Patagon. Krieg. Krieg is only missing, but like not actually gone. When we blew up the uh, the Kriegs and Marcus Square, did we actually kill Bobbert and the, the otters? I'm sorry, what was that, Chris? When we blew up Kriegs at Market Square, did we, uh, did we, uh, oh, kill yeah, Bobbert? Bobbert. Bobbert died in the explosion. Didn't and we all of News Channel 6 died. Didn't one of us, like, one of the crew actually see, uh, Krieg being pulled apart? In. If, it, like, being pulled thread by thread, not, like, dead by dead. <laughs> Oh yeah, Clem and Zachna are dead. All right, go team dead people. Is Tarkus dead dead, or was that just like the one game? Oh, th like that camp game. That none of that stuff stuck around. Like if if you died in that one, it was you're fine. A lot of dead people. 
Yeah, the um, we scheduled games will chronologically be before this. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that'll matter, but I'll let you know if it um if it has to not be that way. But yeah, we killed everybody, guys. Good job. <laughs> wow, that was that was amazing. <laughs> Stabbed in the face. Right, Look, I didn't think I didn't think that was how Simmons was gonna die. Stabbed in the roof of the mouth. Yeah, didn't think that was gonna be it. I thought it was gonna be his own fault. Look, Kay was hoping to cause severe maiming either way by you know not getting out to the garden. I just found it hilarious that it, like they got caught for having not signed that so quickly. You guys, gotta sign your paperwork. Well, oh, wait, that's right. K's still K's still loose, and K didn't sign. That's that. I hope that comes back and gets you. Yeah, I'm not. Able to do it. I didn't. I didn't sign anything. I didn't sign anything. So there's that's no pyromancy to get me. That's true. I'm not gonna they let you would, back they in the fold. let city. you out. Yeah. Well, it's the wrong K, so. Alright, everybody. We're gonna play that theme song one more time. For it's a good song. So everybody Great can song. listen to it. Thank you guys so much for playing. We'll see you tomorrow when we play Fabula Ultima. I will get you guys all the stuff that you need um, as soon as I get up tomorrow for it, uh, for the game. And then we got another game on Monday. That one was where we're playing Dunco. Hopefully, if everything goes right. And then Wednesday, we've got another game after that. Tri what? Yeah, which is Triangle Agency, as long as I'm not sick, which I feel fine. Ish. Thank you guys so much for playing. Bye forever. Say bye forever. Bye forever. It was a good time. Bye forever. And I'm here to play Twisting your fears in a brand new way The crew could never leave me in the past Now it's my turn, I've caught them at last I made a deal with shadows unseen Now you're lost in this haunted dream I whisper promises in disguise Behind this mask the darkness lies And now your time is I'm a piece I'll take Now my true instincts are awake I'll show you how your faith can rust Smiling as dreams all turn to dust Playing mind games from within I lift you up just to pull you back in And now your time is running out Sentiment fuels the grand design To my kingdom you're now